Definitely a rock. Maybe he meant this. Hey, Nash, is this what you wanted to show us? No! This time he totally meant... No, I got it. Come on! <sighs> hey, Lucky! What is what? it? Look! Um... Cool. Is that what you're trying to show us? Mm -mm. Then what did you want us to see? Snake! Swimming, swimming, swimming! You saw a snake swimming? Snakes don't swim underwater, do they? I've never heard of that. Me either. Maybe he saw a long fish. Or a piece of seaweed. <gasps> a snake! <gasps> it's a snake! Let's follow it! It looks like it's taking a breath of air. I'm looking it up. It's called a banded sea crate. It can't breathe underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Hello, hello, snake. Come here, snake. Oh, and it says the crate is venomous. <gasps> Nash, Nash. No touching. No, no, no. Okay. No. It's coming this way. Look out. Oh, I forgot to tell you, crates usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. Okay, got it. That doesn't look right. Huh. Nash! Give them a heads up. Right. <gasps> Is that Marco? <gasps> right. Ah, uh, Nash, Nash, let's go this way. <sighs> Phew, that was close. There are a lot of them. Several meerkats can live in one burrow, but the whole group can be as many as 40. Lots of meerkats. Their burrows are connected by underground tunnels. Look. Babies. Right. They all work together to take care of their young and to get food for everyone. You mean 40 breakfasts, 40 lunches, and 40 dinners every day? Yeah, they hunt small rodents, lizards, insects, even poisonous scorpions. But they eat fruit, too. Look, they're all standing with their backs to each other around the burrow. They guard their burrows to protect them from predators. Ooh. To keep their babies safe? I think so. And when something comes around, they give each other the heads up to let all the other meerkats know that something is coming. All 
clear. Nash is going to be so surprised. It's Marco. He must be heading this way. Quick, hide it. Whatcha doing? Nash, since you like bonga bonging so much, we thought you could use... <gasps> Bongos! Bonga bonga bong! Bonga bonga bong! Bang! Bonga bonga! But it doesn't have wings like a bird. They have flaps of skin under their arms that they use like a parachute. Oh, so they don't really fly. They glide, like a person on a hang glider. Cool! Wow. Scientists think they do it to escape danger and to save the energy they would use climbing around. I don't think it likes the light. I'll turn this off. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it's an owl. I really want to see an owl. Then let's head this way. <laughs> wow. I think it's a great horned owl. They're great hunters. They prey on rabbits, squirrels, and even skunks. Those are big animals for a bird that size. Is that a great horned owl too? That must be the female. It's higher. So you can tell the males from the females just by listening. Look out! Ah! Look, a different one. Cool face. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'll say, I think this one is a barn owl. And it... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't hoot like most owls do. It shrieks. You know, I was a teeny bit nervous about being in the dark. You were? You know I was. Oh, it's okay, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> but it turned out to be wonderful. Listen, you can hear the animals that are out at night. It's like a song. A night song. Have you noticed the night has a rhythm And a melody all of its own And the music that goes along with them Is the sparkle of stars in the moonlit sky Goes on and on and on Night song, night song Grab a shooting is full of grooves. Do you think those insects made them? Like maybe they ate the wood? Let's find out what they are. They're termites. Too bad termites can't talk. They would have been close enough to see what happened to the picnic log. I don't think so. Most termites can't see. Actually, I think we're just seeing a few termites. Look, termites live in colonies. There can be more than a million termites in a colony. A million? That's a lot. Around here, the colonies are underground. But in other places, they build these. They are huge! Oh, the mounds are their nests. And at the center is the termite queen. It's her job to make sure that there are more and more termites. She is one big termite. It says that termite queens can grow to be as big as your thumb. She gets so big, she can't move around. So all of her children take care of her. So what do termites eat? Wood, right? It says here that most termites like to eat rotting wood from falling trees. That's one of the ways decomposition happens. Decomposition? What's that? That's when old rotting plants break down and return their nutrients back to the earth. So that new plants can grow. Hmm. I know what made the picnic log disappear. You figured it out? You know where the picnic log went? Yes. The amazing Lily will now amaze you by 
explaining the disappearing picnic log. Yay, amazing Lily! The picnic log was a fallen tree. Right. I just never thought of it that way. And fallen trees are the kind of rotting wood that termites like to eat. The termites made the picnic log disappear. They ate it. That's decomposition. Exactly. Now the only thing that's left of our whole picnic log is that one little piece of wood. And the termites are eating that too. That is yeah. amazing. Thank you, thank you. So the disappearing picnic log isn't a magic trick after all. No, it's part of how nature works. I miss the picnic log, but I still like it here. It's nice to think that it's feeding other plants and animals so that they can live and grow. And speaking of feeding, picnic! And now I, the amazing Lily, will perform another amazing trick. I will now make the sandwich disappear. Ha! <laughs> I get it. The color says, Hey, back off! I'm poisonous. You don't want to eat me. These frogs are amazing and all, but what about the waterfall? Okay, okay, Gorby, we're going. Whoa! Hey, guys, look! There's tons of boys and dart frogs. Wow! Wow! Ooh, wow! And they're on the move. Where do you think they're going? Well, frogs are amphibians, and they like to be around water. So while the rainforest is a wet environment... A waterfall would be even wetter. You think they're headed to the waterfall? We can follow them and find out. Well, we couldn't be any more lost than we are already. So let's get hopping. <laughs> 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 Big jungle! Ha, ha. <laughs> yes, but so do you! This is way or Zaz way. Which way? Which way? I don't know, Nash. Look! Poison dart frogs! Follow the frogs? Follow the frogs! Come on, Polos! <laughs> huh? Do you hear that? Is that a waterfall? The waterfall! The waterfall! Whoa. Wow! This way, Polos. Hey, look! It's another poison dart frog. What are those things? I think they're eggs. It looks like this is where poison dart frogs come to lay their eggs. They're so close to the water. The baby frogs. Tadpoles? Right. Tadpoles must drop off the leaves and into the water, where they grow up to become poison dart frogs. Cool. Poison dart frogs are amazing. See, Gorby? I told you we'd find the waterfall, and all we needed to do was follow, follow the frogs. The frogs. <sighs> <laughs> Froga, Froga, Froga. Buddy. Oh no. <sighs> you okay, Nash? Mm -mm. I know. I'm upset too. Maybe we can find a way to help. Help, help, Totals! Clean, clean up! Nash is right. We need to do something about this garbage. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. It's cleanup time. A 
look at the polo marine. Moko, go there. Over there, can do. Lily, that way. That way, I'm on it. Chester, Chester. Come here. Huh? Chester, he's saying, come with me. The hap, the hap. Why can everyone understand Nash but me? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody clean up, clean up. Everybody oh. clean up, oh. clean up. Oh. Get the mess gone, get your clean on. Everybody clean up, clean up. It's a great big world with a big responsibility. If we work together, we can keep our planet clean. But the very best way you can help is to pick up after yourself. Then let's go be a clean-up team. Everybody clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up, clean up. Get your mask on, get your clean on. Everybody clean up, clean up. Yay! The ocean's a big place, and there's still lots of it to clean up. But we did a great job here. Especially you, Nash. Yeah, we're really proud of you. And Nash, now I hope you understand the importance of cleaning up after yourself. Whoa! Oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Nash! 